Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Anodyne. So, we did something with the windmill. I know we're not at the windmill. Um, it just dumped me here as my save point. So we're going to return to the Nexus. And see. Yep, okay. So we can uh, now exit out here. And it drops us down here. Right, okay. These cliffs extend far upwards, though I've never gone high enough to find out where they lead. Well, sounds like a quest to me. There's a save point. Don't think there's anything going on here. Just cool. Cliff music's really good. Let's see if we can. Nope. Awesome view. Wow. Yeah, that's really high up. I'm not exactly sure how these are being supported. December 7th, 2010. Name unreadable. There's nothing up here except this stupid rock. Well, this is that weird dog creature. I am sorry, it is my nature. Nature vs. Nurture, man! Oh! I'm not like the others, Wolf. I won't harm you. It is a quiet existence up here. You smell like Swiss... Chard? Hmm, interesting place. What the heck is this? Golem, oh yes, I met someone who was little. They told me they were going off to look around the beach. Well, did you get hit by a boulder on your way up? Sometimes I throw boulders when I'm angry. I'm sorry if I hit you. My mother always said that if I kept doing it, I'd run out of mountain to throw. Back before she was fracked. Did you get hit by a boulder? Okay. Um, I guess I'll check out the, the beach at some point. That sounds cool. To go back down right and this is the nexus point there's another one of those weird dog creatures and this is not where we want to be right so we just went in a big old circle okay so we'll use the map to return to the nexus yes and just come through here that's a helpful little little guide. And we'll go down as well. Nope, nothing. Okay, there's that rock. I already read that rock. I think. Okay, we can't get down there just yet. There's a rock in the way. Let's see. Okay, those are two dead ends. Cool. Like I said, I really like the music. It's just soothing in a in a strange way. Another rock. Indecipherable markings. Whoa. Uh -oh. Interesting place. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Question mark. I am a drifter. This is one of the more popular pit stops along the journey from A to B. What is A? It's my hometown. I'm visiting an old friend in B. It is a long journey. But I make sacrifices. Don't you? It makes life more exciting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That's enough of that. What appears to be permanent marker. Greetings, fellow traveler of space and time. You have stepped into a rift far away from the juxtaposing area of young. You've crossed an ocean or two, so to speak. Don't worry about the contrast. You can return to your normal adventure shortly. Do not fear this place. Though it appears foreboding and dangerous, you will find its denizens to be quite friendly. The management. 
that. Interesting. Um, no idea where we are. An intersection between time and space. If you met Cube, it does such cool things. I heard once it stood on an edge for nearly 12 seconds. Oh man, do you know what that means for the League of Edge Standers? No? Well, a lot. Okay. You're a one-trick pony. This is an interesting place. I'm from Sugarloaf. It transit to Taipei. Why am I here? Oh, I stopped by to say hi to Cube. So I guess we're looking for Cube, is the general sentiment. What the fuck are those? Here lies Savage. He tried to fix my computer in the garage once and didn't take up much space while doing so. Three years later, he still hadn't finished. Then he dropped dead. These things are strange. Get away from me. Burt. Burt. Okay. Here lies Underbull. Who wrote this? He was impaled by rainbows! Um, it says I can go up, but I don't think I can. These weird things again. Go away. These things blend in. Here lies Dave. He wasn't very inspirational. I suppose if uh, that's how you feel about it. Go away. That must be Cube. It would be nice if there was some puzzle to this. Let's see what the... I'm only the ruler for the extent of a conversation. 19 cards. Though, so that's, that's good, I suppose. Okay, I guess we're going to go up. Interesting. Oh, okay. There's Cube. Don't look so down. This place is just an odd representation, so as not to shock all of the visitors. It's mostly harmless, as far as we can tell. How are you today? I'm the ruler of this partition and interpretation of space. I don't know why I'm the ruler of this place. I'll tell you, but it will take a while, like a long while. An obnoxiously long while. Like, quite a while. No, really, I'm warning you. I tend to ramble. Maybe you'd better scooping out the contents of that chest over there or heading off to the hotel in the distance. Don't know how that got there. I heard they have relatively cheap rates. Not that money matters here. But my friends around here saw it fit to put me in this position because of the immediate state of the space. Maybe this is the case because cubes are best at sitting still on flat surfaces. As for why someone needs to sit up here, that's beyond me. My friends over there have merits of their own. It's not like they couldn't sit up here in the future. They just can't do it now. Sometimes we switch off who is the ruler, but every time we always have to reinterpret this region of space. Perhaps Mr. or Mrs. Pyramid come up here because we decide to make the throne shaped in a way that best fits them by reimagining this world, so to speak. Does that sound silly? It might be, but that's how it is. Happens quite fast, minutes, hours, not necessarily a long reign. Though when I am ruler, it feels slightly strange. I somewhat feel isolated, wanting to be avoidant of others. But isolation is not the right word, though it covers parts of the feeling. I'm not isolated, and I don't dislike the others. We consider ourselves all friends, but you know, no one really comes up here except to say a few words. So I have to think about things, or I might go crazy. Maybe that's part of the isolation. Outside of those inane questions about why we're here, occupying this space, I'm curious as to why we're even friends. I like to think that whenever we're under the interpretations that I'm best to rule, that they give my com me comfort in being able to hold this position for as long as it takes to reach the next interpretation. Oh my god, he is long-winded, you know? Encouragement and the like, their physical presence, those are comforting. 
So that's enough to satisfy me, though it would be nice to have one or two of them try and understand how I feel about being a ruler. Not that I'm complaining about encouragement, but maybe then we could have multiple rulers. What a thought! Maybe that implies that when I am not ruler, I must act the same way I sometimes wish they would. Who knows if that can be done? I've gone on too long. If you head off in the other direction, there's another similar region of space, though I think it smells a bit different. It's nice to meet you. In transit, why am I here? Oh, I stopped by to say hi to Cube. Um, okay. So we got the card that he was mentioning. It was a nice card. It was a good card. Up we go. What an interesting place. I have no idea what's going on. Duh, okay. We are on top of a building. There's a person. I know cities can be dirty and crowded and everything, but I like to come out here and look over all the lights. It's beautiful in this its own way. It's not nearly as infinite as the stars, but there is something about its humanness that adds a layer of wonderful complexity. Behind every light is a person with hopes and fears and secrets. Looking out is both terrifyingly lonely and fiercely personal. I think I love every person behind every window. I love you, people, for being my stars. I love you no matter how fucked up that's in the game up your life is or how far you think you've fallen. You are lovely for tonight. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. Thanks for listening. You kind were, but... You know, that was um, an oddly sweet sentiment, dude. I feel much the same way when I'm driving on the dark, cold stretches of the night. Seeing the, I suppose what you could call a river of light. Slowly meandering. Finding its way... Cool! New puzzle! Uh-oh. Well, that's no good. Cool music, though. Again, uh, the music is probably the best part of this game right now. What is that? This game just gets weirder. Ah, crap. And weirder. And weirder. And if you don't believe me, just take a look. Um. Okay. Um, that's an enemy. Apparently. She can't leave. Those are those weird creepy dudes again. So we're actually in a dungeon. It seems. Oh, and the... Yeah, because... The other enemies weren't bad enough already. Oh, okay, we can't... Oh, I see. No, 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 no. I think that's actually where we're going to leave it for now. Oops, wrong button. As always, guys, thanks for watching.